everybody, I'm Mike, and this is Crime and Punishment. We are back to play a little bit of Prison Architect. So, last time we were still having problems with escapees, and um, that was drag. <laughs> I think we may have that issue fixed now. Perhaps. Um... Why are these supply trucks not moving? Why is it five and these inmates aren't in? Is it because I have all these jobs scheduled? Sorry, I, I just kind of zoned out there, but... Like, I'm not entirely sure why nobody's doing anything. Is it because they expect... the garbage to be thrown in the... Seriously? That's what was preventing four trucks from leaving. Was one guy putting garbage in the garbage can? Or in a garbage truck? Wow. Well, that's kind of ridiculous. Alright, so we finally got our, um, our inmates being escorted to their, their cells. At least most of them. Um... You guys are standing in deliveries because apparently they're deliveries. Um, moving some sheet metal in. Finally got all, all of the uh, prisoners off the truck. Which is nice. Getting all the sheet metal off. The prisoner intake is uh, going to happen again. Um... I think 64 was the number, something like that. So 22, yeah, no, we're 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 good. We can take on um, quite a fit, uh, quite a few more intake um, rounds, I suppose. And I'm really looking forward to making some of that cash. What is going on here? Deployments. Also good jobs. Hmm. Yeah, since we don't have as many prisoners, I guess. Because most of them free and escaped. Let's look at that report. I'm, uh, evaluation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of escapes. It's bad. But, we're gonna get that fixed. Well, I mean, I think that we've got the escape thing fixed. Um, we're gonna get the... the cash flow problem fixed. And... what are you bringing in? A bench. Okay, so our canteen is going to be what they're going to be working on first. Okay, the shower is officially a shower, which is kind of nice. Yeah, the license plate money isn't as good as we were hoping, but, you know, that happens. When you've hardly got any people working there. These guys are grabbing benches for the canteen. Why are there so many people in here? Oh, I 
guess that's good enough. All right. More of the canteens getting put in. I guess after they've done putting in all of the furnishings, it will be time to start putting in the uh, perimeter security. And I think we're still going to go with a kind of two-pronged thing, where it's going to be um, an outer chain-link fence, and then that more intense kind of wall with the... Uh, with the barbed wire over at the top. What are you carrying? Another bench, eh? Why are you guys so intent on that? There we go. Hmm, I guess in the meantime we can go and... Oh, this is all... Set up as max sec. Except this was this had to be redone because it was determined to be um, I guess not eligible because I re put cells into it. Um, I guess the other thing that we're going to need to do is probably put um, I guess I was planning on putting the door there. Maybe not there, maybe we'll put that there. Yeah. That seems safer because um, otherwise you're getting it to go into the water. Which is suboptimal, I would say. screen. TV for the common room. Well, isn't that nice? And you're still installing benches for the canteen. Well, the canteen will be nice and taken care of. I guess. Is there anything that we could kind of change this into for it to be I don't know, somewhat useful? Storage, but no. Okay, uh, no, not really. I'm just kind of hoping to turn these. I guess I could make like an office or something here, and then make it like storage or whatever. But eh, doesn't seem worth it. Oh, we've got more inmates coming in. Somebody brings out the garbage, I suppose. Oh! No! Thought you could get away with s smuggling a fork. Well, I don't know if you're gonna get the poo now, Lawrence. Or maybe you needed the fork. To, uh, you know what? Let's let's not think about that. All right. Well, these inmates are going to wait here forever. Um, I did have four workmen before. I had that one that was glitched. So I'm going to hire one back. Although I know it's going to cost me more. But I think it would be worth it. And it'll definitely get this garbage situation sorted out. There we go. Put garbage there and everybody gets to roll. Ooh! Sneaky, sneaky. You're going to solitary for two hours, Mr. 
I'm stealing screwdrivers, man. Alright. Now we are offloading some inmates, which is cool. Let's see how this is coming along. Got a couple of TVs and some benches, which is nice. Throwing in some of our phone booths. And the shower area is complete. Um... Should be done soonish. What are you carrying? A bench for the common room. This well, stuff seems to be going faster now that we got four people. Oh, you're gonna be stuck here now because somebody needs to bring out the garbage, don't they? Oh, you're gonna do it! Right on! Well, oh, you're released? Yeah, you can go. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of hoping that he had caught a ride. That would have been awesome. I'm easily amused, it would seem. Did you just come to open the door for the guy who just left? Mr. Simpson, that was ten minutes ago. Alright. I don't know why I went on McBain. Alright. Nobody seems to be trying to escape. This whole deliveries area and within deliveries area with this fenced off area that, you know, the uh, inmates can't get to. Seems to be working out okay for us. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Oh my god, the shower is filthy. Oh my god. Try to steal Mr. Bowels. Oh, a saw! Well, you can definitely go poo in your cell. Mastodonius Dillinger? Wow. I think that I would like to name my child Mastodonius. I don't have any children, and I'm sure if word gets out that I want to name any future children Mestodonius, I probably will never have any children, but, you know. A guy can dream, can he? Okay. Fifteen prisoners tomorrow, that's more like it. I'm very pleased with that. Ryan Radford is visiting with his father, his wife, and his son. You can tell it's his son because they both wear sunglasses. They look so much alike. He takes after his father. Okay. Well, all the phone booths are installed, which is a good thing. Got a pool table going in. Our common room's basically done. And you are 
are released. Oh, she's coming to let him out. There we go. We've got a workman. I want Trevor out. It seems that since it seems that hiring that one worker really made a huge, huge difference. Hmm. Who'd have thunk it? All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I know that uh, we didn't get a whole lot accomplished. I mean, we're just kind of furnishing stuff and and making sure that you know stuff was was working itself out. Um, but we didn't have any escapes this, uh, this go-round, um, and our intakes seem to be going well. Nothing major in terms of fights or anything terrible has happened. Um, we've almost got the maximum security wing functional, where we could, mm, you know, think about moving, uh, inmates in. We're just gonna have to finish up the, the kitchen and, and the canteen and then build like a um, there we go that license plate money though um so yeah I mean I'm, I'm looking forward to that uh, I know it's it's a little bit slow moving but I, wait, let me know in the comment section if you want me to kind of skip past these these menial things or if you want to see them because I know that um, when I'm watching videos, I, I kind of like to see this stuff. So, uh, let me know what your preference is, and, um, you know, I'll kind of try to figure out what, uh, what you guys want, and, um, we'll take it from there. So, if you like this episode, feel free to go ahead and click on that old thumbs up button. If you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. If you want to join me on Steam or on Facebook, you can do so by clicking on one of the links in the description. But I have been Mike, you have been you, this has been uh, Carbon Punishment, and um, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.